Boy, did we pick one heck of a good day to not bring anything to take a shot on a giant feral hog. Hello and welcome back to the Hunter. Today we're out here on the Hunter Classic and... Well, I wanted to start hunting some rabbits and some pheasants. But then I saw something that was pretty spectacular. Honestly, I haven't seen something this big in... I don't think I've ever seen anything this big. Especially bow hunting. And to be honest, when I first saw them... I got a little bit nervous, I must say. Alright guys, anyways, let's go find him. Alright, so maybe about five minutes ago, I just spotted a giant feral hog. And it had a minimum of, I believe, 1,300 to 2,000 something. So he's an absolute monster feral hog. The only problem is, we didn't have anything on us to take the shot. We were actually about to go do some uh, rabbit and pheasant hunting. And then we spotted this absolute magnum feral hog. So we only had the 17 and the 20 gauge loaded with bird shot. We literally had no bows, no ethical weapons whatsoever to take a shot. But now we have the camel pulser loaded with tracers. We have our sight on here. We're all set. We have some feral hog spray. So hopefully we can find them and make a nice shot. What do we have here? What do we have here? It looks like we have a couple of females and another feral hog. It looks like we have three females out here now. Where is the male though? And what do we have here? That's a coyote. Alright, so I think I have an idea. We're going to put out some hog scent right here. And hopefully the male comes this direction. I don't know where he's at. But we're going to try and go down here and get in position where we can actually get a better look at kind of the whole situation here. Uh, guys, I think that's him. I'm pretty sure he snuck in behind us unless it's a different one. No, that's a female. There's our buck. Looks like a 120s buck. And a couple of females coming in here. Looks like we have another female here. Okay, so we literally have every hog in the whole entire area coming right to us right now. But we don't have our big male. He's got to be here close somewhere. But look at how they're all congregating over to where we put the scent out. Still cannot find this big male. We'll keep looking though. Alright, so we just got his track here. You can see it's about 30, 35 minutes old. So he's a little ways ahead of us. Apparently he didn't stick around here for too long. So let's go track him down and see if we can find him. That is not him, but it's not a bad size for a hog right there. He should be pretty close by though. Although in this case, we might as well try and take a shot on him. Otherwise he's going to possibly spook our big hog. He's a decent sized one. This is an 800 plus here. Close to it at least. He's about 20 out. Let's pop up and take a shot. That should have been a double lung hit. I was kind of hoping we would have dropped him, but let's take a look at him. And he's down. Perfect. That shouldn't have spooked our big hog if he was anywhere nearby. It's kind of hard to take a trotting shot like that, but we did. And I think we managed to get a double lung shot. Where is our big hog now? He's got to be around here somewhere. We have his track right here. Solid circle roaming. I just can't see him yet. Eleven minutes away. He's got to be like right here somewhere. Where is he? Right there we found him look at the size of that hog 1130 to something like 2000 something let's get a better look at him 1230 score on him that hog could potentially break 1200 what a monster all right first we're gonna do is check the wind perfect wind second we're gonna do is put some hog scent right about here we want to make sure we're out in the open a little bit so he doesn't stop in this grass okay so we're going to be over by that tree right there and we're going to put the scent right here all right now, let's get in position and get ready. 
Because he's big. And he's smart. The next question. Do we have our arrow knocked up yet? I don't know if we actually reload it. Let's double check. Oh my god, that's a, such a good thing that we double checked that. Okay, so now we're reloaded. If you hit the uh, click button really fast, what happens is the pulsar will not reload automatically. So that's a good thing when you want to take a shot quick and then go prone. But you kind of want to be able to reload. That way, the next time you see a big animal, you're ready. Oh, he's actually coming in the backside. Look at this. What a smart all hog. 195 to 205 kgs on him. So he's pretty much as max weight as it can get. Yeah, he's going to be a big one. We got him out there at about 56. He's not going to come into the scent. Wait. Wait. Oh my god, he's coming right to us. That is not what I want to have happen. Not even a little bit. All right, we can't really do anything about this. All we can do now is get back up on this rock so we can see a little bit better. But if he comes straight at us like that, I don't want to be in this thick grass. I want to be up high so we can actually see decent. Yeah, he's coming right to us. What a smart old hog. Where's that rock? Okay, right here. All right, we're back up on the rock, and we're probably going to have to take kind of a front-on shot, which I'm okay with, I guess. I sort of wanted to go for a double lung shot, but it doesn't look like he's going to present us that opportunity. He's coming directly right to us. And we have him at less than 26. All right, I think if he's going to keep walking, we're going to slide over a little bit. And... Come on, turn. He's not going to turn. We're going to have to go for a shot. He's about 20 coming right towards us. We're going to have to go for a kind of a heart headshot. Oh, perfect. We absolutely centered it right between the neck and the front shoulder. And it went in there beautifully. Let's watch him. We only got a single lung on that for sure. But he's absolutely hammered. And we should ourselves a huge feral hog down here pretty shortly. Yeah, he just, I don't know, we put out the scent over here. Realistically, he should have cut over and went along this grass over to the scent, but he completely ignored it, came all the way around the backside, and tried to come in right towards us, which we were going to be up in this grass here, and if we were there, he would have walked right towards us, he would have sensed us, and he would have bolted. We never even would have seen him take off. So we wanted to get up on the high, which is what we did. We found that rock, got back up it, and we waited till he turned his neck, opened up the shot and put it right in the boiler room. Perfect shot and that should be a nice hog down. Or should I say a giant hog down. And let's pick up our 800 plus here first. So we'll give our uh, giant hog a little bit of time to go down. Made a nice shot on this guy as well. This is a perfect double lung shot. He scores 841.7. A very nice, I think it's a cream colored hog. Yes, this is a cream colored hog. Let's just take a look at him really quick. All right, so you can see we pretty much centered that shoulder blade there, but with this camel pulsar, this thing has wicked penetration. It should have came right through. Actually, it looks like it didn't quite come out the other side. It's uh, somewhere right there, you can see, but we can't quite see the other side of it. Still a very nice shot, and let's take a picture of him really quick. Very cool. Although it looks like there's a fish jumping in the background. What is that? A butterfly? Let's try that one more time. There we go. Let's go with that. And let's accept it. No, he's not a mounter. But I tell you what. This one is definitely going to be a mounter. Let's get back on the track on this one. And see if we can go find our giant feral hog. Alright, so this is how you know it's a really good shot here. You can see we have a 63 to 79% of the health on the second track. So that means we probably got a lung and a liver shot, and our feral hog should be down. It's been about seven or eight game minutes now, which is plenty enough time for him to go down if it's a single lung hit. You want to wait at least five minutes because you could definitely jump them up, even if they're lung hit. 
Well, been tracking them for probably like 150 meters. And if you look right here, we found him. There he is. Let's go take a look. What an absolute giant feral hog we took down with the Kemmel Pulsar. And take a look at that shot. Looks like we tucked it in right nicely, right behind the head there. And I think we hit probably lung and liver on that. But yeah, let's try and take a better look at his his tusks there. Can really only see the one. Pretty decent. Well, let's pick him up and see what he scores. And we got a skull, left lung hit. He scores 1,187. That's the biggest one by far I've ever gotten with a bow. Holy, that thing's huge. The biggest one I've ever gotten is 1,200, but that was during a drive, and uh, that was with the 6.5 as well. So I really won't count that so much, but the fact that we took this giant down, 1187 with the Kemmel Pulsar, and, oh my god, that was awesome. Ended up catching only a single lung. He did run in pretty good ways, about 100 and uh, close to 200 meters out, but take a look at that. A very nice shot, and that's going to be a really cool picture if we can get it. Let's see here right there really cool picture i am very happy with that so let's go with that and yeah he is definitely a monitor feral hog all right guys we just got back to the trophy lodge and here is our giant 1187 scoring feral hog that we just took down with the camel pulsar oh that thing was huge he was so big i was shaking because i didn't want to mess up the shot and i know if you hit him in the body especially sometimes now there's a glitch where you really can't find the animal. I know I had the same thing happen a couple weeks ago when I was bow hunting for whitetail and I even hit that one in the intestine. I tracked that thing for about an hour in real time to try and find out where he was and that was actually a vital hit. This could have been a body hit. It's so easy to get a body hit on these feral hogs so I really wanted to make sure we put a nice vital hit on him and we did. We made a nice shot right when he tucked his head. We tucked it right in there and we got a giant. All right, so here's where we're gonna keep him. We're gonna keep him right here between our 403 scoring bull elk and our 187 scoring mule deer here, our drop time muley buck. And there's our huge turkey and there is our 16 plus wolf. Also, I got some comments saying that all my animals come from drives, but I'm pretty sure that one, two, three, and four all came from hunting not in a drive. This one came from a drive, yes. This 187 came from a drive. But the only reason we modded him because he has a really cool drop tent on him. But yeah, for, for the most part, all of my animals, or at least way more than 80% of them, don't come from drives. The only ones I do mount from drives are the really, really spectacular ones that I'm not going to pass up. I mean, but for the most part, all my animals come from hunting them the right way. Alright guys, well I think that's going to be a good way to end this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.